Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I do my monthly planning calendar. Now, I prefer the bulk of my scheduling information to be in not only digitally my Gmail calendar, but also usually in either like my weekly spreads or definitely my daily spreads. So the point of the monthly in general is just to do birthdays, friends in towns, events, just the really big important stuff that you can kind of look at and get that overview for. Um, one option that you can use, like if there's an event that happens over multiple times, you could use a ruler because um, you can see this line is that I did a super crooked because I didn't do it with a ruler. So usually I try to keep things neat just because I like the way it looks, um, but you don't have to. And another thing I might do is also color coordinate um, and highlight some of the things to create a nice visual effect. Anyway, but moving on, the very next thing I do is I do my monthly assessment. So it's a really simple system, um, similar to ones you've probably seen maybe online if you've looked into sort of assessments, um, is I rank in different categories. So I have health, spirit, finance, learning, mental, emotional, mission, experiences, love, family, friends. This was, by the way, inspired by um, Sunny Leonard Doozy, um, is someone I follow a lot on YouTube. So this is definitely something that she does and I made it part of my planner. Um, and then I give a scale ranking from one to 10 and anything that's ranked five and under, I highlight in red. Uh, and that really gives me a super quick and clear way to know what to put priority. Almost every time I do this, I'm surprised where I think I have an idea of what I wanna work on for the month and then I do this quick assessment and I go, oh, I'm actually really not satisfied in this. I should put more energy into this part of my life. Um, anyway, so that's the assessment, should take you a couple minutes. Then from there, uh, I'm gonna be filling out my goals or you can consider this sort of your main projects of the month. I wouldn't keep, I, I put too many, you can see in this sheet right now, I put way too many. I would keep it under five um, for projects. And then for the priorities, if you think about your, you kind of do a general overview of, okay, what's going on for me this month schedule wise? How did my assessment go? How did that cause me to create my goals and projects for the month? And based off of all of that information, what are the most prioritizing tasks I need to do that's gonna move the needle to get me to accomplish all those goals and projects. Um, so for me, I ended up with four priorities, which is um, to sleep more, because that'll be my health goal. Um, I wanna dance daily, I wanna eat less grain, and I need to do for our business, since it's January, more strategy planning and set up like a structure, some system. So those are essentially the things that in general, I'm gonna be trying to do a little bit every day in order to work towards the bigger goal. So those are the priority tasks. Now the, less, the last box is completely blank. Now I'm just gonna show you for me, running our online swing dance school Rhythm Juice, I use this as our monthly uh, report. So I'll go into our Stripe account and I will look at, okay, how many new clients, have, like where are we at right now in the business so that I have my monthly little recap on where we're at and just give me an idea. You can totally use that box for whatever else, if you have a hobby, uh, if you have like a workout plan, just to jot notes, that's all for you. Now, that's pretty much it for the monthly planning. From there, I go into my weekly or my daily, depending on how busy I am. And a few other things about what you could do. So for me, because I have not invested in a fancy planner yet, I just have a three ring binder. Um, and so for me right now, since I don't work with a lot of yearly plan, yearly spreads, I put mine in the front sheet so that every time I just look at my binder, it's, it's just there and I, my eyes quickly glance over things and I sort of keep track of what I'm working on. You could also three hole punch this and, um, put this, you know, in the binder as well before the weeklies. And one more thing you can do if you do not have fancy like dividers, um, what I do is I add, actually I'm gonna show you here my bullet because I do this for the bullet since you can't really insert dividers into these, is you just take some pretty tape. This is the prettiest tape I have. <laughs> and you create your own little tab. I actually really love how minimal this is. I actually really love the red color too, but you can get this, you can get um, some little fancy tape at the dollar store. It's really nothing crazy and I just, tape it here because originally I started 
um, doing these in the bullet journals and then I ended up creating a template for it. So I'll do that in my normal binder as well if you don't want to buy dividers. Um, and I'll just put it on the sheet and then you have a way to skiply, ju <laughs> <squiply. laughs> quickly jump to it as well. All right, that's pretty much it. Let me know if you have any questions uh, in the comments below. All right, take care.